What's up, guys? Anthony here with Empire Music, EmpireMusic.com, showing off a beautiful jazz bass today. This is the new Adam Clayton signature bass, Adam Clayton of U2 fame. And, you know, honestly, like the first words that kind of come to mind, it's just, it's elegant. It's a very, very refined, elegant jazz bass. And it's very versatile, too. So it's not like, it just, when I pick it up, the inspiration that it immediately gives me from the neck shape, from the look of it, I think also with like the artist's name on it, you know, I associate, whether right or wrong, Adam Clayton just with like big effective bass lines. Nothing flashy, but like ultra supportive, um, great player, great tone. This really kind of fits right in with that. So it's in like a Sherwood metallic finish, alder body. It's really a 60s jazz bass. I just did a video on the Mikey Way jazz bass. Very different. That's the 70s thing. Really punchy, a very aggressive uh, jazz bass, upper mid-range character. Where this 60s tend to lay the opposite way. This has custom shop 60s pickups and it has a lot of, I think sonically what I get out of the custom shop stuff going on too. Um, but not quite up in that level as far as the build, but very, very nice. Rosewood board, custom C-shaped neck. So it, to me, it, funny, I always say on those custom shops with the 60s U-neck on it, they feel kind of C-ish to me. And this feels like one of those U-necks, and this is a custom C. So when we get to that inch and a half, that narrower nut width that I'm used to as, a, as predominantly a P-bass player, the lines really blur between the C and the U when we start to move that over that, that width there. This is very, very comfortable. Um, a little bit on the vintage side. I wouldn't call it a chunky neck, but definitely not a modern C on something like this. And the lollipop tuners on there, you know my feelings on that. Very nice, nice little classy touch on there. Um, other than that, pretty straightforward. Oh, high mass bridge on there, which is cool. A little extra sustain. They have this strong, through the body. I always prefer top load into a bridge, which you can also do with the high mass, nice bit of versatility, but they have it through the body. Cool. Um, it's just a nice bass. It just feels good. It sounds really good. Um, again, it inspires me to play a lot of like big stuff. Now again, it could just be because I'm thinking, I think anytime I get an artist bass that I know their music relatively intimately, um, I, tend to think in terms of like playing that way. So um, kind of go back to what I was playing at the top there. Do it with fingers though. Just the way that E, that open E, the easiest note to play sounds on this. It's just nice, it's just big, it's round, very supportive, I love that. I think when I get this in my hands, just kind of what instantly comes out. Now, if we were just going to play my normal shtick that I do in my videos here. <laughs> that really well too so 
tells you the versatility here. Um, so that's both pickups wide open. And we'll go just front pickup, see what kind of P-Bass character we get out of this. Um, typically with a 60s style jazz bass, you get into that P-Bass character, there's that little extra something that's not in the split coil voicing, it's just in the straight single coil voicing, which is cool, but it's definitely a difference in there, but it's almost P-Bassy. Actually, let's go back to the, the, the slower, kind of more melodic thing. Man, it's very, that's where this bass excels to me. It's beautiful, it sounds great with that type of stuff. Uh, we'll go a little more aggressive. I'll roll a little tone off of that. Very cool, very, very nice. The bridge pickup. That's a mellow bridge pickup for, for this, and it's pretty, you know, 60s up a little bit. They're not wound quite as hot. It's really nice. But let's go, I mean, again, it's calling for more melodic playing to me. Again, very, very nice. So again, pickups wide open. So full tone, both pickups. Front pickup, just, just front.
this bridge pickup. Man, I'm playing terribly. Long day here in the shop. Third video of the day too. So awesome bass though. Um, again, I think the, the catchphrase for this or single word is just two of them. Elegant and refined. It's the really, really nice, pretty sounding jazz bass. Based in the 60s thing. This is the Adam Clayton signature bass from Fender. Wonderful instrument. Phone number at the shop, 412-343-5299. My email is anthony at empiremusic.com. The website is empiremusic.com. Check out the bases. If you need something, feel free to reach out. Appreciate it. Thanks.